In this video of the After Effects Fundamentals series, I'll go over how to connect layers and properties. This is called parenting. We'll also look at how you can utilize invisible layers called nulls as controllers. Remember that I have these handy visual guides that go with all the videos in this After Effects Fundamentals series. You can bookmark this page so you can quickly reference these guides when you forget how to do something in After Effects. Here I've got two shape layers. The square is named parent and has a rotation where it rotates a full 360 degrees over two seconds. And then the child is the triangle and that one doesn't have any animation. Parenting is a way that you can connect layers so that the child follows or copies an animation on the parent. I'm going to attach the child layer to the parent. So this is called parenting the child to the parent. To do this, I'm gonna use this little spiral, which is called the pick whip, and just drag it from the child layer to the parent layer. Another way to do this would just be to go to this drop down menu and choose the layer that you want here. So now if I play this animation back, you can see that the triangle is following the parent. I'm gonna undo all of that and then just go to the middle of these keyframes somewhere, it doesn't really matter where, and I'm just gonna show you that if you parent this layer right here, it's going to affect how this animation works. So my point here is that wherever your playhead is when you actually parent the layers is going to matter. Even though the triangle is attached to the square, I can still animate it so that it has its own animations. And I'm going to toggle down next to transform. And let's just animate the rotation of this triangle. So now if we play this back, it's going to be rotating while it's attached to the square, which is rotating. We could also animate other properties like the scale. We could also add additional animations on this parent layer. So a shortcut to get to different properties is just to hit a letter on the keyboard. So for position, it's gonna be P on the keyboard. So I'm just going to go to the start of the timeline, set a keyframe, and then go over to two seconds and let's just move this whole thing over. So notice how when I animate the parent, the child inherits that animation, it's still attached. So now I've got something like this. I've reset this animation so we're back at our starting point. So nothing is parented. Another thing you can do with parenting is just parent individual properties. So I'm going to select the child layer and hit R on the keyboard to bring up the rotation property. I'm just going to take the pick whip next to the rotation property. So not the main pick whip for the child layer but the one that's next to the rotation property and I'm going to drag that onto the rotation property of the parent. Notice how this has made the rotation values of the child turn red. This means that the child rotation property is parented. So now if I play this animation back, you can see that the child is doing the same rotation as the parent, but it's doing it on its own rotation. It's not rotating around the parent, it's just copying the animation that the parent is doing. So any property that has a pick whip next to it, you can pick whip to the same property. Sometimes you can pick whip it to a different property like mismatching position and anchor point or something like that, but that gets a little bit tricky and more advanced. A null object is an invisible layer that you can use to control other layers. So to create one, you just wanna go up to layer, new, and then null object. This is the null and it's just an invisible layer that I can move around or animate just like any other layer. So what I wanna do is attach all of these triangles to the null. And if I select the first one, then hold down shift and select the last one, I can parent all of these at once. So I'm gonna use the pick whip of any one of these and just drag it onto that null and that'll parent them all at the same time. So now if I were to animate this null, I'm just gonna use the rotation as an example. 
I can animate the rotation of the null and then all of the triangles will animate as well because they're attached to that null. And of course the triangles can have their own animation. So I can add rotation to these or any other property. And I could even have all of the triangles rotate in the same way. So I could parent the rotation of these triangles so that they copy the rotation of the first triangle. So I'm just parenting these rotation properties. And now each of the triangles will rotate in the same way as the rotation on triangle one, but they're also going to be rotating attached to this null object in the center, which is rotating. There are so many ways that nulls can be useful, but this is just one simple example. In the next video of this series, you'll learn how to work with artwork from Adobe Illustrator right inside of After Effects. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy animating.